Hello everyone, today I'm gonna share with you three free motion templates and you can use them as you know timers or your study with me channels and you can change the color and you know the numbers and it comes with default settings as well. So without further ado, let's get started. Before downloading the folder, please remember to subscribe to this channel and like this video, comment to show your support or ask me if you have any questions. I love reading all your comments, whether it's good or bad. And you know, you can get the downloading link in the description box. You can download it from the Google Drive and after that, you can see this LC timers pack. And this is the folder, this is the main folder and if you double click on this, you can see that there are actually 9 of them. And let's go back to the main folder, select this one and copy this folder, go to Go, Home, Movies, Motion Template and paste it under the Titles folder. And that's all you need to do. Restart your Final Cut Pro and go to the Titles and Generators sidebar and find LC Timer subfolder and you can see that nine of them is already here and how do you apply them is pretty pretty simple as well so let's suppose you have a video clip you are studying anything or you're doing work and if you want to create a 30 minutes video it's pretty simple you just first drag a selected seconds for example if you like the wave one you just drag this and put it onto the timeline as you can see, it's pretty short. This is just 60 seconds and which you know, it's just a minute. And you want to do a 30 minutes long video, you can drag the 30 minutes one and drag it on to the timeline like this. And as you can see that the time started in the middle. So all the way to the front of the video of the titles is 30 minutes. And once you hit play, it's gonna drop and you know, the wave is going to calm down like this. And if you don't like the position of this 30 minutes, you can always go to the inspector and change the X position like this. And that's all you need to do. And if you want to change the scale, you can always shrink the size like this. Or alternatively, you can go to the positions, you know, icon over here and just drag it any place you want it to be. And click done if you want to you know, finish it off. And once you hit play, as you know that the, the wave <laughs> The, the water inside the tank is decreasing and it's going to drop to the end at the 60th, 60th second mark. And since it's a 30 minutes long video, you have to lengthen the entire second titles to the end, which is 30 minutes. So as you can see, all the way at the end, it's going to drop to zero minutes and the seconds is decreasing as well and all the way at the end it's going to drop at zero seconds and zero minutes and that marks the end of the entire video obviously if you want to change to say 15 minutes or one hour it's exactly the same just drag it on top of it and you know shrink the length of the seconds and it's automatically adjusted to the actual timing of the you know the minutes titles and it automatically adjusts to the minute titles and that's you know pretty much all I wanted to show you for the first part if you get bored with this you know color this blue color you can always go to the titles inspector and you can always change the numbers color like this and you can always create a keyframe like this and few seconds later you can change the color of the you know the, the, the numbers like this so once you hit play the number is you know going to slowly change the color and when it stops at the end it's going to change to say orange and of course you can do it on the color as well on the background color as well on the other hand if you want to change the minutes color is also exactly the same you just click on the minutes titles and change the color like this and that's all you need to do and you can always change with a keyframe oh yeah if you want to change the position of the entire you know timer you can always go and select both of them and press option plus G to create a compound clip like this and then after that you can go back to your main clip like this and select this icon transform icon if you can't find it it's over here 
and you can just drag it over to any position that you want and scale it down like this and that's all you need to do also if you want to create a fade out effect or just to hold the freeze screen for a second you can always as usual create a compound clip and at the end of the clip you can always go back a frame by using the left arrow and press option plus F to create you know a fixed frame and you can create a mini opacity fade out like this so the fade out will be very smooth lastly I just want to bring your attention to this one this pi seconds so as you can see that it's going to have you know a subtraction of the color over the you know the pie and if you drag the minutes on top of it it's going to be very blurry so what you can do is you can select the minutes one and go to the videos inspector and change the blend mode to subtract and that's going to make it a lot better like this Yep, so once it ends, it's going to look like this. Pretty much the same with the actual color, and it works the best with a black background. However, the pie doesn't allow you to change you know, color for the background, only the numbers. So just bear with me with uh, this small glitch. Yep, that's all for today's video. Just remember to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and comment if you have any questions. And just, you know, tell me what you want to see for the next plugin or, you know, just show me your support. Thank you very much and bye-bye.